What's up, everybody? It's Sparrowwood Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on No Man's Sky. Um, we've got a little bit of an interesting situation here going on with this guy. Um, this, um, turtle, bull, wolf thing. Bear, dog. I don't know what the heck this thing is. I'm gonna see if he's trying to attack me or not. I think he is. Pretty sure that he's trying. What is this thing anyway? You know what? He doesn't have a jetpack. Oh, he can still hit me though. Holy crap! Dang, he's not playing around. Okay, seriously, back off, dude. I'm trying to figure out what I'm killing here. Okay then, that was interesting. So what was it that just attacked me? <sighs> oh yeah, and I ran it. Okay, so what is this real quick? It is a Castodei Recurrency. Uh huh. Meat eater, obviously. And I ran into this when I logged in today. You'll notice this has a yellow arrow above it. And it actually lists another user or player as being the discoverer. So they've already uploaded it, I guess. Um, but that's kind of crazy to me because of the whole, like, you're not supposed to really be able to run into anybody. But that would only happen if someone else was on this planet. So... I'm guessing that is a little bit different than what they expected. Because... Um, I'm pretty sure if someone else was on this planet, that would mean that... I mean, I guess technically, in a manner of speaking, you're not really having found another player if you didn't, like, run into them and see them or something, but you'd still cross paths. I mean, because the whole they found something that you didn't find, or you did but didn't upload it fast enough. So, you know. I'm trying to figure out why... Oh, I must have set a point here. So I didn't know. I've been... I looked up a couple of things uh, over the past week. Because this is the first... Um, this is the first week that I basically am playing and hadn't been playing all, day, all week. Because uh, I had been doing every day. So, uh, I'm a little disoriented in terms of um, gameplay mechanics and things like that, that I kind of forgot how some of this works. Um, but one of the things that I looked up was that if you highlight, like this says destination reached type of thing. So now you'll notice when I look away from it, it doesn't have the, um, the thing, the, the little HUD indicator that says, hey, you've got a waypoint kind of thing. But let's test this out. I read if you look at it with your visor thing or something and you press a certain button like if you scan or something. I forget what it was. But there was something that basically I was doing on accident and it was essentially setting a waypoint. Um, and I love my upgraded scanner. It finds all kinds of crap. But I'm trying to figure out what this was. Is it R1? No. Uh, oh, jeez. Did not mean to do that. Well, we just tested out terrain deformation. You know. Seriously, though, what was it that was it? It wasn't the scan. Was it. No. There was a button I was pushing on accident, I think, half the time. Oh yeah, there's your HUD lamp, by the way. You can actually, you do have a light, so that's kind of cool. So anyways, I don't remember what button I was pushing, but I'm pushing something. It's like one of the triggers or the shoulder button type things. I don't remember. But it's essentially tagging it for like a waypoint. And until you actually like arrive, it seems to keep doing that. What is it full of? I had another slot. Oh, it must be plutonium. 
Yep. Shielding shard. What are you gonna give me? Blueprints for accelerated fire. Photon cannon companion unit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, let's see if this place has a um this place has a global network thing or uh not, what am I talking about? There we go. Trade terminal, that's what I was looking for. So we can get rid of some of this crap. Because I don't need it. Um Okay, this is exosuit inventory. Don't need that. And I am gonna sell that. I know that I actually have uses for those, but I don't really need them. Uh, Chrysonite. Titanium I should probably keep on me a little bit. Iron. Okay. Uh, I don't think I actually have anything in my ship inventory. I think it was just that stuff that I wanted to get rid of. Iron and titanium is fine. And we'll keep all of our fuel stuff there. Yeah, so we should be okay. And someone pointed out to me in the comments of not... I don't know if it was my last one or the one before that. I did totally miss a multi-tool upgrade in one of the places I was at. And just walked right past it. Didn't even notice it. Alright, let's see if I can get one of these, by the way. Can I scan these? Is that a plant I can scan? No. Now, how come you're not letting me pick you up? Hmm. These are supposed to be pick upable, because they're supposed to be worth a lot of money did that in the last episode. Why is it unknown, though? There we go. Album and Pearl. And... Now we run. Yep. Great part is they can't chase you inside. <laughs> it's the best part to that whole situation is just being able to run inside <laughs> and sell stuff. And wait for them to leave you alone. And these are worth a pretty good amount of money. Actually, I have like 470 now. So we're doing pretty good. Hi, guys. You can't do anything. Nah, 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 nah. And I don't get why this one's not letting me pick this up. I think that's glitched. There's another one to my right over here. There's one of those. That's like a that's like a walker sentinel type thing. I've never actually dealt with one of them before. I've only seen them. Zinc. I need to build up on zinc for something too. It was some upgrade I was working on. Or trying to work on. Nothing to see here. I'm totally not going to steal this pearl or anything. Just move along. Seriously. That was awful. No? You're just going to scan me indefinitely? Alright, you know what? I'm going to give you something to scan. Here. Alright, guys. Ready? Ready, set, go. Whee! Oh, and I did find out, apparently the Sentinels were not as, like, um, protectors of the galaxy type thing as I initially thought. I always kind of looked at them as space police, and that's not really what they are. Um, apparently they're kind of, like, trying to assimilate everyone like the Borg. Or not necessarily assimilate, but kind of, like, everything needs to run smoothly kind of thing, so they're trying to, like... What did I do? Looked at so many locked doors. Oh, enterprising. Okay. Let's see if we can get anything out of this guy. We haven't talked to him in a minute. What up? 
Divine Atlas Entity. Corvax Convergence. Fascinating Traveler. Corvax something. My presence has made the life form somewhat curious. New word. I like how I can just request units. It's great. Just give me money. Why? Because reasons. Station. Okay. Now, isn't there a scanner around here somewhere? There it is. I thought there was one around here. Now, I'll have to reprogram this. Let's see. What do I need for a bypass chip? I think I have it. Oh, that's install. Plutonium and iron. Not bad. So let's do another bypass. Before we leave this planet, I want to just check a couple more things, make sure everything's good. Um, I actually was told that ooh, we could do a colonial outpost. Let's do that. Let's do a colonial outpost. I was going to do another monolith, but I'd like to see if we could upgrade like, or find some new blueprints. It's an operations. I was hoping for manufacturing. Oh well. See how there's like a waypoint on the HUD now? There's supposed to be a way that you can like zoom in with your scanner and totally, totally accidentally analyze a plant, uh, but you're also supposed to be able to get rid of that somehow. And I looked it up and I don't remember what the button combo is. There's something to it though that it's like, while you're in the scanner, push certain button thingies and what is that? Okay, hold on a minute. Um, for some reason, I'm not leveling out. I can't get low enough. There was something that I just passed that looked kind of cool on that tower. I also read something else. Wait a minute. Was that... Alright, let me pick up the pace a little bit and then come back by. I think I just saw another scrap pod thing. Maybe it was just a rock. Maybe that was just a rock. That's probably just a rock. Oh, and I could do ship scans too. I always forget to do that. But yeah, I'd like to... You know, there's such a big galaxy or universe or whatever you're exploring in this game. I'd like to get out and explore a little bit more. I get wrapped up on, like, exploring a planet kind of thing. And thus you kind of end up, like, stuck, so to speak. Or not really stuck, but just you've been exploring the same place and you're kind of like, oh yeah, there's like this whole galaxy to go explore. And let me know what you guys think in terms of now that, like I said, we're kind of moved over to a weekly rather than a daily episode, if you'd like me to do more cuts and things and make more progress or more of like a greatest hits highlight reel of like what's been going on while I've been playing over the week, stuff like that, have I been here before? I might have been here before because this is all empty. Where's the door? If the door is open, I'm going to be upset. It is open. Well, <laughs> no way. This is the place. <laughs> this is the one where I forgot the multi-tool. That's funny. Mining beam provides a markedly more destructive laser. Okay, so that increases mining laser damage. That's funny. Because I was like, why the heck did it send me back here? But it works out because I actually found the same place that I missed in the last episode. So there you go. Um... So yeah, I don't know exactly how this works in terms of if I flew around enough, far enough, would I eventually find more stuff, or is that just all there is to find on this planet? You know, I don't really know. But um, I think I'm kind of ready to move on with this one and go to somewhere else. Where else, you might ask? I have no idea. There's actually probably some planets in this system I could look at, too. I do think in future updates I would really like them to do a system map. Not na not necessarily like a galaxy map, but a system map. That would let me see... Um, like what's going on in the system. Type of thing. 
Let's get some fuel. Get some fuel so we can put it in the engine. Alright, let me redo that. Recharge that. Recharge. I'm gonna, like, fill up all of my stuff with the thomium, and then we're gonna grab some stuff. So pretty much everything but the launching laser, or launching thrusters can use thomium. Even your life support stuff. And since you can find it, like, out in space here really easily, I think that's gonna be my primary source of fuel. What's that? Oh, that's a space station. I wonder if you can talk to ships. Can I, like... No, I don't think so. I think it's I can either shoot at them or I can leave them alone. I don't think I can actually do anything with them. Uh, okay. And... You know... Uh, I was gonna say, you know what, is I could just fill it up and then get rid of it somewhere else. But I'll just hang on to what I have and then dump it if I need to. Uh, oh, I can do a scan out here. That's right. That's how we can find stuff. Abandoned building. Where did you find an abandoned building? Is it still on this planet? May... Wait, what is... Okay, compass is direction. HUD is where. But haven't I been... I just left this planet. Doesn't that seem... Like, very close to where I took off from? What is that? That looks like a dot of some kind. Eh, abandoned building. Yum, 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 yum. Not really worried. Oh, trading post. That's probably right where I landed before. Hmm, that's tempting. I wonder if I can only find one thing per scan. I'm tempted to go... I saw while I was looking around, I saw another... Oh! Distress signal, you say? Where is that? There we go. Whoops! Wrong button. I fiddle farted around long enough that now there's stuff to be done. I will give this game one thing. If it did anything right, which it did, it got the seamless interaction so well done to me. Wow. And it actually did like a solar flare type thing where you can't see what's going on. Um, I love how you can just go straight from planets to um, stations to this to that to the other things. You know, like that. They just did such a good job on that. one down. And I'm using my... Uh, somebody brought this up in the comments, and I agree if I can see the arrow where they are. There it is. I like the phase beams uh, because they're basically an auto-target type thing. I don't have to really aim with them, like, at all. They just target and do stuff. Ow! Stop it! Except for that. That's not cool. Uh, where's my titanium? Let's do that. Alright, where's the rest of you? Okay. <laughs> Guess I'm too far away. There we go. Hey, I just refilled my shields. Leave me alone. I hate that. I'm like, I just filled it back up. Stop shooting me. Alright, he's about to die. I think. Ooh, I got emeralds. And aluminum. Alright, that's... Ow, ow, ow. Boom! Did we help people? We most certainly did. Understanding with Corvax has increased. Of course it did. Because I just saved them like a boss. Recharge deflector shields with oxide element. Yeah. 
And I do have... Why do I have two... Zin oh, one's player inventory and one's the other one. I guess... I really shouldn't have done that, actually. Because as long as I don't get attacked, it should be fine. Oh, well. Okay, so, where do I want to go? Whoa! That scared me. There should be another... Trading po There should be another planet around here. There it is. Let's go check out that. Right quick. I know it's at probably targeting the station. But I don't plan... Nope, nope, nope. Stop, 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 stop. Go here. There we go. That's better. Oh. I don't know. Maybe I should stop at the station. Eh. There's probably going to be stuff on this place to do. To sell and do things. I'm sure it'll be fine. I didn't use any of that. Didn't use any of that. Um, I did get told by somebody, I forget who it was, that, um... As far as everyone's kind of aware, there doesn't seem to be a limit on how many uh, suit upgrades you can get for your inventory, which was kind of awesome to hear. Uh, let me stop here real quick and send out a pulse, see if it finds anything on that planet of note. Maybe I'm not close enough. Whoa, dude! Give a guy a warning. Alright, let's go a little closer then. Because I'd like to see if I can... Like, find a spot to where I can target directly. It certainly doesn't seem to be finding a whole lot here, though. Well, how long does it take for the scanner to recharge? Yeah, it's not picking up a lot. This looks completely different, though. Like, um... Really? Nothing? Not finding anything, huh? Um... Whee! Ooh, this is very green. Itaber... Kimenit... Kimenit... Ah. Mm-hmm. I might rename some of these plants just so I can pronounce them. That would be kind of fun. Wow, this is different. I was expecting more trees. This is like Shroom Valley. I don't know what it looks like anyway. And I'm not getting anything? Oh, here's a, here's a point. There we go. Something. I was gonna say, come on, guys. I love the seamless flight and stuff, though. The way they have that set up is great. Ooh! A drop pod. Right off the bat. Awesome. Alright, what are we looking at? Temperature level stabilizing. Poison rain. Passive sentinels. High flora. High fair fauna. So we have acid rain, but we have passive sentinels, eh? Okay. Passive sentinels. That sounds fun to me. Your health level will rise. Why, thank you. Yeah, see, I keep... I'm almost always getting, um... Fuel-related stuff. Planes of Hoverin. That's interesting. What is that? Interesting. There's a lot of these stone things around here. Okay, so there are sentinels, but apparently they're passive. I wonder if that means they're just slow to anger or something, or if that means they just won't bother you at all. Which would be kind of epic. Okay, so it just keeps increasing how expensive this is, but I'm loving more suit upgrades. Some people might say save and get a new ship, which is definitely an option, but kind of enjoying the suit upgrades. Alright, let's test this out. Excuse me, Sentinel, I'm breaking things. Are you gonna bother me? 
carbon. Thank you. I hear him. There he is. If they don't bother me, dude, we're like golden here. We're gonna name this like free ore or something so people know it's like sentinels will not bother you here. Oh, here's more iron. I mean, they're not bothering. Oh, never mind. Scratch that. Gosh, I'm so bad at aiming so far in this game. Goodbye. Thanks for the titanium. Oh! Recoil stabilizer. Oh, already known. Okay. I do like that about this, that if you kill them quick enough, then it just doesn't really do anything. Like, you're fine. You don't have to be like... Oh no, I killed them! They're just gonna keep attacking me now. I find that to be rather refreshing. Oh, perfect timing. Alright, let's set out a pulse here. See what I can find. Ooh, there's gears. And there's another point there. There's another point there. I definitely am looking out for gears. And here's another fun fact I didn't know. It's very subtle. If you walk up to the edge of something and you actually can't make it, you'll notice... There. Use jetpack to climb. So you can hold your your jetpack button and it basically is just the f it gives you climbability for free type of thing. Which is very handy. Alright. What do we got? Damaged machinery. Ooh. ooh. An enhancement for the starship shields. Unfortunately, I don't know how many more slots I want to use up with that. Though, one could theorize, if I continue to upgrade my suit, I wouldn't need as much storage um, in the actual ship. So I could probably like store stuff in my inventory. And then just have a bunch of slots in my ship be for shields or something to that effect. Okay. We're getting kind of low on our... Ooh, there's stuff in things. What the heck are these things? What is that guy? Limosa Recordu. These things are funky looking little creatures. But like hilarious. What is that? <laughs> this is like a walking mushroom bug. I feel like I could have such a great time naming these things, but I'm afraid of how it would like break the immersion of the game when it's like all of these more Latin type names, you know, like the origin of their strain kind of thing or something to that effect. And then you just come across one that it's like, you know, crazy mushroom bug. <laughs> and it's like, wait, what? Ah, this must be player named, you know, that kind of thing. It would just kind of break the immersion. So I'm like, I never want to name them because all of my stuff would just be goofy. Now, when I actually find a planet and I'm like, this is going to be the Sleepless Nights planet, whatever that's going to be called. I'm still open for um, ideas on names and things for those of you that are into that kind of stuff. Actually, I'm going to throw that back because I don't need any more of that. Uh, platinum I can throw over here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, as I get to where I'm going to end up like naming things, um, I really want to do... Th then I'm gonna like actually go through and name all of the stuff on that planet and stuff like that, like all the plants and crap. I didn't mean to do that. That was the wrong button. Okay, there we go. Let's just put those two together. Um, let's do assistant or a shipwide pulse. Man, for 
Huh, there's really not a lot here that it's detecting. Though there is that. I need to find a place with a um, signal scanner. Speaking of... Oh, there's a knowledge stone. There's two of them, actually. Corvacs for oxides. It's an interesting word to find, just lying around. I am going to be curious how this is going to work, like when you actually learn the whole language or something. However many words there are, I have no idea. Somebody told me there's like 42 per language or something, but I don't know if that's all there is or not. There's a shield plant. Uh, there's some other stuff. Jettison pod power canister. There's going to be fuel in here, if anything. Okay. Anything else going on? No? Oh, I just turned the light off. Eh. Okay, so there's a point over there. Now, where did that scanner go? There you are. Um, let's see. Let's look for a monolith. Shall we? Searching for ancient alien artifacts. Did it find one? It did. Awesome. Not too far. Uh, let's poke our head inside and see if this is a... Got any kind of trade system. Or if this is just a... This looks more like just a pod. Yeah, it's just a pod. There's a multi-tool thing, though. Maximum efficiency and bolt caster reload. Okay, maximum. That's interesting, because it's a plus three. And it also requires callium that I've never even seen yet. I'm kind of getting the vibe that these... While these are of element types, like the blue is... Well, this comes up as rare. I can't quite figure out if the colors are for type or for rarity? I think it's for type, because this is common and this is rare. So... That would speak to... the type more than the common part, or the rarity. But it seems like there's certain things like the purple ones. Either I've just not found it on any planet, or... it's a more rare thing of anything. What is this, like a hobgoblin looking thing? Looks like a... Looks like a goblin raccoon. Ooh, hey, let's try and talk to it. Feed him. He's happy! Wait, that is a... pig goblin raccoon thingy. Can I do anything now that he's happy with me? Can I ride you or something? You gonna attack things with me? You wanna get my ship? No? Okay. So I'm not really sure what that does. This is just too much platinum for me to pass up. So we're gonna take that. And since I've basically bribed the animals, they're not gonna say anything. And I'm probably gonna use all of that plutonium to refuel my thrusters. Oh, this is new. It's like down in the ground. Oh, knowledge fragment. I, I keep saying that, knowledge stone. Oh, my bad. Let's go get that stone first. Oh, there's another one over there, too. I think that's probably what's going to keep me playing this more than anything else in this game, is the alien world type stuff and, like, what the atlas is and things like that, more so than the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Because I... Stupid bugs. Buzz off. Trying to flank me? He's trying to flank me. 
I wish there was some kind of like auto targeting because I suck at shooting things. Yeah, you butterfly away. What'll be funny is if I, like, there actually is an auto-aiming thing that's already going on. Seriously, I can't- these things move too fast. I hate spiders. I hate them in real life, I hate them in video games. Video games, I just hate them in general. Any kind of spidery-like creature, they just suck. Okay, seriously, die already. Okay, stop eyeballing me while things are trying to shoot me, you stupid sentinels. Wait, no. Why things are trying to bite me is what I should have been saying. Seriously? You're not dead yet? Die. Now. Where was I? Stop bothering me. Uh, yeah, let's grab that. Didn't I miss... Is this the second fragment, or is this the first fragment? I think that was the second. Uh, but yeah, I had seen a lot of reviews that finally came out, because, um, the game had been out long enough, and I guess there was enough playtime going on that people were finally reviewing it, and one of the biggest things that people kept saying was the repetitive side of things. And I get it! I mean, yes, it's still kind of new to me, so I'm still having fun with all the different mechanics, um, I could see how it could become re repetitive, but to me that's kind of like most procedurally generated games. They can't do everything super scripted because it's procedurally generated. So that just makes sense. Ooh, you're pretty cool. I like the looks of all these things. Alright, let's see what we got. But the lore and story and adventure side of it's probably what I'm gonna keep playing it for because I'm curious about like how the atlas is works and stuff lights burst from the obelisk they pass through me each a whispered Korvax secret buried for millennia deep within its rock we are the Korvax echoes ever enduring entities of the convergence we live on through logic and wisdom pass through our metal skins each generation is greater than the last okay then my knowledge is increased. Of oh, the Corvax con Convergence. Interesting. Awakes. And my standing increases with them. Interesting. Okay, we got anything else going on? Apparently we've already been there. Okay, I don't see- oh, wait, 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 what were you? There you are. Um. Oops, I messed that up. Dude, what the- wait, did the plant just attack me? Is that a thing? Plant just attacked me. Yeah, the plant's attacking me. What a jerk. I've changed my mind. I've decided I don't really like this planet. These plants are hostile, and there's a lot of plants. Oh boy. Ooh. No, 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 no! Ow. I didn't really time that really well. <laughs> I was like halfway over this canyon and realized my jetpack was going to run out on me. It's not a smart idea. Technology. Anything down there cool, or is it just like acid, like everything else on this planet? Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two. I think I can make it before I have to go back. As long as I can figure out where they are. Oh, there's one. Um, but so yeah, like I, I can understand how the um, repetitive side and stuff would get to people over time or whatever, but a couple of things for me. One, when I do YouTube series, I play the game sparingly, like I take breaks and I'm playing other things throughout the week. 
So it's not like I spent the last month doing nothing but playing one game and now I'm just sick of it kind of thing. So there, there's that that helps me um, enjoy stuff a little bit longer. But then also, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of curious. They did a decent job of keeping the lore and the overall story kind of vague so that you could kind of do your own story type of deal, uh, which is a really cool idea, actually. We're going to use the cliff trick thing here. I'm thinking to get up here eventually if it'll give it to me. Come on. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> It's actually just letting me climb up here. There we go. That was kind of funny. It was actually just climbing up. So anyways, yeah, I'm curious to see how the whole, like, what the atlas is and all that kind of stuff. And that has me kind of intrigued, so I'm curious how all that's going to work. Dagnabbit, stupid plants! I got a achievement for that, apparently. Oh, traveled. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like, you've been hit by ten plants or something. Congratulations. So, uh, but yeah, so I'm still curious about how all this works. I'm having fun with it. But let me know what you guys think about whether or not you'd like me to, like, play this throughout the week and just record little snippets and cool things and discoveries and stuff, or if you like the more moment-to-moment -moment type style, um, and I'll probably just adapt to what people want to see more of and stuff like that. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Also, I'm also still taking suggestion stuff for whenever we decide, hey, we found the planet that I want to colonize. Uh, let me know what you, uh, for naming suggestions and things of that nature. So let me know what you guys think in the meantime. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.